what is going on everybody? How are you guys doing today? So guys, I know you all expected the part two of the Karen video to be posted today and there is a reason that I can't post it yet and it's a very good reason but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it but basically I could get in serious trouble for posting it but we have lawyers and everything working on the video reviewing the video so I can get it up as quick as possible guys but it is a process and it's going to take a little bit probably a couple days maybe like one or two uploads it'll be uploaded. I don't think it's going to be uploaded after this video but the one after it but don't worry guys the video I'm uploading next is still an insane banger like very very crazy and I know you guys are going to love the video but yeah I already have one lawsuit on my hands I'm not trying to get a second lawsuit so uh please guys drop a like and get ready to buy the merch because I'm releasing crazy merch guys that I know you guys are going to love it is hilarious not banger merch banger all right it was cool but like bro it's just banger merch like I got a crazy concept coming that I know you guys are going to love it's super funny super cool and I know you guys are going to want to wear it but yeah guys so basically what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be explaining the Karen video the one that you guys all saw because I've been getting a lot of questions like how it happened like the story behind it like what exactly happened and why this sort of like got out of hand so yeah we're gonna watch the video together and i'm gonna sort of like react to it or whatever not really react to it but more explain it's gonna be like more of a reaction style video but i'm gonna explain exactly what happened and what went down and the reason i didn't do this in the first video is because i just wanted the whole karen moment to be one video but yeah guys i kind of want to explain like what happened with the whole entire karen thing and like why this psychotic maniac decided to approach me but before we get into it guys get ready for the merch to be dropping the merch is gonna be dropping sometime next week hopefully when i post the second video it is gonna be an exclusive drop with champion guys we're doing a champion jack doherty collab it's gonna be absolutely insane so make sure you guys are ready for that because it's gonna be very very limited and it's only gonna be available for a limited time so yeah make sure you guys have your notifications on and set to all and text merch to 917-540-6160 guys and basically that'll give you early access to the merch when it drops and uh, exclusive discount codes and stuff like that so make sure you guys do that and also make sure you guys follow me on my social medias they'll all be on the screen right there just so you can stay updated with me on things that happen because people that follow me on instagram and snapchat know the karen video before i even posted it and also guys please smash Smash the subscribe button. It'll really mean a lot to me and smash the like button because I can get in serious trouble for posting these videos because the Karen's mad and uh, I already have one lawsuit on my hand as I said before and I'm not trying to get a second one. So please show some love guys. These videos are very risky and uh, yeah, you guys know the drill. Let's hop right into the video and I'm going to explain what exactly happened. And also guys, make sure you watch till the end because I have an insane announcement that you guys don't want to miss and it's about the Karen. So stay tuned. All right. Oh, I just scared the dog. Cash, I'm sorry. Cash, come say hi. Oh. We got cash. He just wants to sleep because I walked him like fine time sitting. All right, chill with your tail, buddy. So yeah, I'll start off by playing you guys the beginning part of the video where like I have the Snapchat. All right, guys, so let's watch the Snapchat. Let's go. Yo, she mad, fam. She mad. She mad, boys. Do I dip? This lady yelling at me for jumping my dirt bike. Do I dip or do I go confront her? I'm gonna go confront her. She's still yelling. So yeah guys, basically what happened there was I was just riding my dirt bike, minding my own business like I always do. I always ride my dirt bike here because there's like a little jump where I always just like jump my dirt bike with my friends and I because we find it fun. And so I did this a bunch of times and then one day the Karen's husband, I guess, came outside and called the cops on us. I put it later in this video if you guys watched the whole thing. And yeah, she called the cops on us but my friends and I dipped before the cops got there and then we drove past her with the car and we saw a cop coming down the road. So we're like, dang, he really did call the cops on us. But yeah, I was like, yo, let me go stir up this Karen real quick and try and get some content out of it because I know if I do this right, this could be a banger video, which it was. And so I was like, yo, I gotta go there. I pull out my phone, tilt it sideways, and I'm like, bang, YouTube video right here, boys. But yeah, let's keep watching. Because there's one part where you guys have to watch that needs a lot of explaining, so stay tuned. What? Why are you coming so close to me? I've seen you before. All right. My husband has seen you before. Is she the one that called the cops me? You guys live right there? Man's over there, called the cops on us. Boys got a dip, bruh. What are you doing here? You're not allowed So yeah, guys, right there, she literally admits to calling the cops on us, so. Karen! Yeah. You're not allowed to be here. I could ride my dirt bike here. disturbing the neighborhood. I'm not disturbing the neighborhood, yes, you man. you are. It's With literally, loud dirt bike. it's 12 o'clock. I don't think anyone's sleeping. Residential neighborhood. All right, think about it. At least, no, 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 think about it. At least I'm not, at least I'm not, at least I'm like not you, doing you drugs. Or, yes, because. The video you're acting, it's not a big deal. At least I'm not like doing drugs or drinking alcohol like some it's stupid kids are. This is illegal. You're not even Facts. All right, guys. So basically, you'll get in trouble for basically doing anything these days. Like, rules are so strict nowadays and it's so annoying. Like, pretty much all you can do is just go high with your friends and smoke or drink. 
but obviously I don't do that, but I'm just saying like I know a lot of kids who do and yeah You'll basically get in trouble for having fun and just staying a normal kid nowadays It's very annoying and there's Karen's like this that try to stop you from having fun And it's just like bro like what are you guys doing like this is the definition of a Karen drop a like if you agree with this guys ready You could be having fun harming absolutely no one doing your own thing and you'll get in trouble for it Even if it's bothering absolutely no one you're gonna get in trouble for it because there's a law or something like that It's like bro like at least I'm not doing bad stuff, you know all right, so would you rather you're not even wearing a I don't need to wear a helmet among grass. Like, I, I, it can be my decision. I can ride this if I want to. In a residential area with no helmet, first of all. Second of all, this is private property over here. Ever heard of a Karen? Yeah, ever heard of a Karen, Karen? That's what you're being. Like, bro, you're not my mom. Don't tell me what to do. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, that made me so heated. Like, I started raising my voice because I'm like, bro, like, this is actually pissing me off now. If she approaches me yelling at me first, I'm gonna give her the same energy, you know what I mean? Like, my energy is your energy, your energy is my energy. So, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. She came over here treating me like that, so I was like, all right, let me reciprocate that, you know? But, yeah, that's just the definition of a Karen. She's not my mom. Just, like, leave me alone. Like, I'm doing my own thing. I'm not bothering you. So, yeah. Dirt bike across the street with it's all not little kids running around. You know, I don't see any little kids running around. You're acting crazy, literally. All right, we're so far away. Look how far away your house is from here. You could probably barely hear. You're you just being so extra. You're like bored at home. No, you're just really making me angry. The fact that, like, I'm just doing my own thing right here, and you had to come and confront me. Like, the cops on you. Go call the so guys, this is daddy's rich syndrome. So basically, daddy's rich syndrome is when you have nothing better to do at home and daddy gives you all the money, or her husband, I should say. But yeah, daddy supplies you with everything, so she's so bored that she has to come confront me and try and get me in trouble because she's so unhappy with her life and just like trying to get other people in trouble and get them mad just because she's mad. So yeah, Karen, call the cops. I don't care. Second of all, this is private property. It's not your private property. It's not your private property. You don't have the decision to tell me what to do. Residential street, where I residential live street. I live in this neighborhood, ma'am. It's not a big where deal. Do you live? I live over. You, I live by the school. Where by the school? I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live. No, That's dumb. You know what? I, I want to speak to your parents. I, I doubt my parents Either would I'm care. Call the cops, or I'm going to come speak to your parents. I don't care. All right, guys. So I saw this is a great opportunity. Originally, I was like, I'm not telling you where I live, and then I started thinking about it. I'm like, dang, if she comes to my house, banger video right there. Like Karen confronts my parents. Like that is a banger video. So I was like, yo, let me give you that Addy real quick. You could pull up to my house and like you could get a nice little video together. Even though that's obviously not why she's going there, but I'm the only reason I'm saying yes because I'm like, bro, I can get some content out of this, you know, boys. So yeah, either way is a great opportunity. If the cops get called, banger video. If she comes to my house and confronts my parents, banger video. You guys know the vibes. Big bangers. Let's go. I don't care. I don't care. You don't care about what? Come speak to my parents. I'm. So give me I'll. Your give me your I'll give you my address i'll give you my address okay. my parents are probably not gonna be home because they have work and they do something with their lives so i'm like you okay what's your address my parents are at work because they actually have something to do with their life i'm like you i Let's suggest home. that you leave this area because i'm gonna call the cops if you don't leave all right and i'll I leave. Will be coming to your house later all right i'm sure my parents will enjoy that have fun karen Quack. shut up karen Quack. <laughs> She calls me a little sh and then I tell her to shut up, Karen, bro. But yeah, guys, so that was kind of the Karen moment. And then after that, I just explained, like, pretty much what happened. But I got to do a little bit more of an in-depth explanation on what happened after and why I acted like that. So let me hit you guys with a whoosh. But yeah, guys, so basically the Karen is obviously a Karen and will do anything to get me in trouble because I guess she's unhappy with her life and has to take it out on other people. But yeah, guys, imagine going out of your way to come to somebody's house to talk to their parents to try and get them in trouble. Like, bro, you literally have no life if you're doing that. Like, go take care of your kids. Actually, she probably has a nanny because dad. Daddy pays for it. I'm just saying, no, I'm just, whatever. It's just a joke. But yeah, like, honestly, stop focusing on other kids when you should be focusing on your own kids. Like, it's just, bro, like, come on, it's simple. So after that, I rode my dirt bike home. I was just trying to explain to you guys, like, pretty much what went down. But at the end of the day, I was minding my own business, riding my dirt bike, having fun, not harming anybody, and boom, I have to get in trouble for it by Karen, who thinks it's her job to take it upon herself to get me in trouble. But that's life for you guys. That is life. But yeah, I just took any opportunity while this Karen was yelling at me to have a nice comeback with her to try and get her a little bit riled up because I was like, dang, that will make some great content. Let me get some banger footage for the boys. So drop a like, guys. I understand I was being a little disrespectful, but sometimes you gotta be a little savage and tell a Karen, shut up, Karen. So yeah, guys, that was the banger line. A lot of you guys love that line. I was like, bro, like, bro, sometimes I just have the greatest improv of my life. Like, I'm able to think about anything on the spot, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm always having these great comebacks, boys. Like, I had no idea what the Karen was gonna say. I'm like, shut up, Karen. Like, bro, that was so good. I deserve a pat on the back. Like, I'm just so good at these comebacks, you know, boys? But yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Did you guys see Cash, like, Get all scared.
But yeah guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video and I told you guys to stay tuned to the end of the video to understand why I couldn't post the second video yet. Basically I have my lawyers reviewing it because I've gotten in trouble for another camera video that I filmed. They're trying to sue me now, so yeah. I got one fat lawsuit on my hands guys, so please watch the videos, share this video with your friends guys. If you share this video with 10 of your friends and DM me proof on Instagram when done, I'll be following you guys back because I need this video to do well. Please guys, show some love on this video. You have no idea what I do for you guys to film these videos. Like this camera started approaching me, I easily could have just rolled my dirt bike off and never even talked to her and none of this would ever happen. But I was like, no, I gotta go and I gotta film this and get some good content for you guys. So that's what I did and now I'm kind of facing some consequences but I will be posting the second video soon guys so make sure you have your post notifications on and set to all because you don't want to miss that video. It's absolutely insane. Like the psycho Karen really came back to my house and a lot of stuff went down guys so please stay tuned. It is like the craziest video ever. I'm just having my lawyers review it as I said guys but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please show some love in the video and drop a like and subscribe guys. Let's try and hit 3.2 million subscribers by the end of the month. That'll really mean a lot to me guys. So yeah, tell your friends to subscribe. Everybody watching, please subscribe. Make sure you text MERCH to 917-540-6160. And I'll give you exclusive discount codes and early access to the merch when it does drop. We made these crazy cool designs. We had one design already ready and ready to print. And we were going to drop it like a couple videos ago. But once this Karen moment happened, I said scratch that. We got to make some merch on this Karen. And I know you guys are going to love the merch. So stay tuned. I'm so hyped for it to drop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.